Just a few days ago, I released a video breaking down Dreams the Truth video, which for those of you who have been lost out in the woods for the past week and have no Wi-Fi, I hope you get back safely, or those of you that don't get yourselves wrapped up in internet drama, which we love to see some good mental health practices. Essentially, Dream had released an hour and 22 minute long video breaking down every single allegation and controversy that's been thrown his way in the past few years. And in the video, he essentially clears his name. I actually did a breakdown of it, as I said just a few days ago, that was only 16 minutes long, which, to be honest, is the most brief summary you can give. That hour and 22 minutes that he released is the most saturated video I've ever seen in my life. You can't miss a minute or you've missed way too much information. So that summary is probably the best I can do. So if you do want a quick summary of it, you can check it out. I hate sending you off to another video because I want you here watching this one, but I can't summarize it here is essentially the, 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 the gist of what I'm trying to say. But what I wanted to do today, what I was trying to dig into with this video, is the internet's reaction to all of it. Because Dream Doctor dropped a nuclear bomb, and so Twitter is currently experiencing the equivalent of a nuclear winter because of everything that's been going down, with accounts who hated him previously backtracking, deleting themselves, going private, and also some people trying to come up with new reasons to still not like Dream, which... I want to clear something up before we go any farther into this video. I'm not a Dream Stan. I'm not someone who watches his videos avidly or wants to do everything in my power to keep him innocent. Back when he was actually going through all this controversy, I posted a few videos talking about how he could be a problem. But I, after watching the entire video he released, have come to the conclusion myself that I think he's genuinely just an awkward kid and made some mistakes and hasn't actually done any of the things that he's genuinely accused of. But now that that's past, let's dig into what's been going down on Twitter recently. So let me Allow me to put my hazmat suit on that I have nowhere, but pretend it's on me, and dig into the first one, which is Burner22. See, Burner22 is an account that had one of the bigger allegations towards Dream. Uh, Burner22 posted a bunch of screenshots about Dream moaning to the camera, uh, alongside some screenshots of him having conversations with a minor named Julie. Julie? I think her name was Julie. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but Julie is this character who apparently was actually a girl who was a friend with Dream when he was a lot less popular. And Julie, I really hope I'm saying the right name here, or I'm being really rude here, actually has nothing to do with Burner22, and in Dream's response video comes forward with a response herself saying, hey, yeah, Burner22, I don't know them, and I didn't allow any of this information to be posted. In fact, some of it might even be fake, which the uh, moaning videos are shown to be fake because there's this frame where you don't see them open the Snapchat of him moaning, but it's there and it gets opened. It doesn't make sense. It's weird, and what happened with Burner22 is... Their account got incinerated. Their account's gone. They completely deleted themselves. Which is crazy because Burner22, right as the Dream video came out, actually started posting more and more claims saying that, oh, our sources lied, or here's some more evidence, and all of it kind of just was part of things that got debunked in the video itself, so it was just kind of an embarrassing situation for Burner22 as a whole. But then comes the other victim. The victim from the initial video that he brings up first named Amanda. And this story... I swear to God, is like six videos in itself, but I'm only going to cover it very briefly because there is a document, I am not shitting you, that is 81 pages long about all the things that Amanda has done. Oh my god. So, essentially, Amanda was a character that had claimed that Dream had groomed her. And the way it worked was, Amanda was someone who was DMing Dream for a little while on Instagram when he was a lot smaller of a creator, which is understandable. I'm a small creator and I still accept every single DM that I get. So she had his Instagram DMs and when you get out of the pending category, you're permanently there. You can permanently DM him no matter how big of a content creator you become. And so she kept DMing him until eventually he forgot who she was and thought she was just a, a fellow content creator and he added her on his Snapchat for that. And then immediately after she started saying, oh yeah, he groomed me there, even though he never really ever responded to her on Instagram. It was a complicated situation and it was hard to understand. But then people started to point out that Amanda has a bit of an issue on the internet. See, her account is now protected. Her account is now private. I can no longer access it. I followed it to see if I could get some information, but she never accepted it in time for me to start recording this video. So I can't get any in-depth tweets that she's sending out. But what has come out is documents about her apparently having groomed multiple people in the past. Not only having groomed multiple people in the past, but in this beautiful little snippet I have from the 81-page Google Doc, she has multiple instances of 
slurs. Like, every slur in the book, and every racist remark that you can make in the book. Which is, admittedly, kind of problematic, considering Amanda has the complexion of rock salt, uh, so she shouldn't be saying those things. Alongside a lot of other issues th throughout this 81-page paper that I really just- I can't- I don't have the time to read through all of it, but a lot of it seems like her impersonating other people to try and get at people that she's groomed previously, alongside, throughout the entire adventure, using slurs the entire way. Y you know, it's the a little bit of sprinkling on top of your sentence to make it sound a little- what were they called? What does Spongebob call it? Sentence enhancers? Yeah. Yeah, those things. Oh my god, this stuff's actually kind of disgusting. Like, I'm scrolling through the document, going through most of it, and I got to the end, where some of the more intense stuff happens that they did to the user herself, which this user's name is Mascara, or their online name is Mascara, and there is a part of this document that is comically, not comically, cartoonishly evil, like, like a saw trap almost. Amanda had this person, I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, carve her name into their leg with a knife. What? This is actually genuinely insane. I didn't know that people were this evil, but apparently Amanda is. And this only is crazy considering she's one of the people who accused Dream of grooming her? What the hell? Like, this is crazy. And then adding on to that, Amanda, over time, deleted up- I heard over 22 different tweets that she had made in the past that were all different claims and evidence that she has about various issues with Dream 2. So, it seems like she's just, uh, I would say, projecting, considering she's a genuinely abhorrent individual. There's also a user named Time Loves You, who isn't a bad guy, so don't go hurt this person, but Time actually had apparently sent out a post to Mascara after Mascara came out about this entire thing saying, hey, yeah, Amanda actually did stuff to me as well. So this is actually a multi-person tirade that Amanda has gone on and hurt a lot of people in the process. And it's crazy. It's genuinely insane that you can do something like try and get clout from like making a false allegation claim against Dream and then inadvertently uncover countless literal crimes you have committed. <laughs> like, like, that's crazy, the amount of self-reporting that goes into that, she should be an Among Us character. However, think something I think is kind of nasty is while I do think that Amanda should probably face, like, jail time for doing things like this, I disagree with how people have been reacting online in the other ways. Because, you know Dream's audience. They're very intense, especially on Twitter, and so when things like Amanda's story come out, there are already people trying to dox and attack her physically in real life, which I don't think is good. Like, while I think, in if it was a perfect world, sure. Rock her shit, punch the- knock her jaw out, but also, maybe, have her go through due process and go to jail instead, and then she has to sit in a cell, which is, for any TikTok kid, worse than a fate- worse fate than death. So essentially, to summarize everything that I've learned about Amanda just today, which I- if you guys want me to, I can do a more in-depth video of the 81-page document, but for now, this is more of a Twitter's reaction, but for Amanda's side of things, what we've learned today is she's not only- also a groomer herself, lied about allegations, which is hurtful for other victims, which clearly you can already tell she doesn't care for victims. She's had someone carve her name into their leg with a knife! What? As well as being excruciatingly racist and using every slur in the book. While well, also, I've seen a lot of p posts about her now saying she doesn't really care. <laughs> so, overall, um, she's a terrible human being who should be behind bars, but hopefully people stop doxing her because if that happens, she'll have reasonable enough doubt to not get put in jail because other people are attacking her, and it ruins and muddles the whole investigation process. So please don't do that, please. I know she's a bad person, I want to hit her too, but... Let's let things move. And while all of that sucks, I want everyone here, if you are a fan of Dream, or if you watch this video and you now side with Dream, or you're just chill and don't care, I want you to keep something in mind. There are a lot of people on Twitter who are still very avidly against Dream, regardless of the fact that he's posted this video, because one, they're not gonna watch the video because they don't like him, and they're biased, or they're bored, or they're ignorant. Or two, there are people out there who are just going to say things to get your attention and to bait you, so that you respond to them, and so that their boring-ass life will get a little lighter because the little number will appear next to the bell on their Twitter account. Don't pay the mind. Don't even respond to them. If anything, I would recommend to become more of a viewer on Twitter than a user, because really, the site runs off of hate. It runs off of arguments, and that's just not a great place to be. 
Overall, though, I'm really happy to see that there is a lot of fake allegations that have been discovered and pushed out to the wayside because it's a terrible thing to see. But anyways, I'm going to be hitting the road because I've said way too much. If you guys want me to do a deeper dive into the 81-page Amanda page as well as other victims from Amanda previously, let me know in the comments. I'd love to try and do it, but it's quite a large project, and I've already made a video today, so two videos in one day, and I have a work shift in an hour, I, my head's going to explode. So <laughs> maybe we'll see it in the future. I love you guys giving me all the support. Thank you for being here. Like the video if you liked it. If you disliked it, you can dislike it, but no one will see it. I've made that joke before, but pretend it's funny now. You can laugh at it. Don't worry. Um, and subscribe. I'd love to see you subscribing. Join the community. Stay around for more, and I'll catch you next time I upload, which will be tomorrow, the next day, and the day after that. Thank you, guys, and for the song of the day, Just Like This Situation Hurts Me by Tory Lanez. Yes, I'm obsessed with this guy, even though he shot Megan the Stallion. It makes me mad. Why do you have to do that? God damn it! Now I won't hear his music for ten more years. But anyways, thank you guys, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night. And uh, yeah, it's good to see the truth, I guess. <laughs>